Good day everyone, so today we will learn about solving word problems in our lesson 4 in block 4 in mathematics 6. So this would be our aim for this today. Students will be able to solve word problems or dividing fraction. Again, our aim for today, students will be able to solve word problems on dividing fractions. So let's have our first activity, Maria has a 12 over 6 meter long ribbon. He divides it into three equal parts. What is the length of each piece of the ribbon? Again, Maria has a 12 over 16 meter long ribbon. She divided it or divides it into three equal parts. What is the length of each piece of the ribbon? After reading carefully the word problem about Maria, we will now identify what would be the given numbers that are important we can use in able for us to find out what is the length of each piece of the ribbon. So let's have the given numbers. So what are those? So the first we can observe, observe there would be the total length of ribbon that would be 12 over 16 meter how about the other given number that would be okay very good that would be the divided equal part which is which is equal to 3. After getting your given numbers, we need to identify what would be the keyword that we could use and able for us to solve our word problem. So what is the keyword? Okay. Very good. Our keyword in our word problem would be each. Okay, so each, the word each is represent the operation of division. So we can say that we need to divide 12 over 16 divided by 3. Have you still remember how can we divide a fraction into a whole number? Okay, very good. The first thing, thing that we need to do is to change our whole number into fraction. That always your denominator comes into 1. So we have 12 over 16 divided by... 3 over 1. Now, as you can see, they are both fractions. We can simply do our duty or the steps in dividing fractions. Okay, what is the steps when we are dividing fractions? Very good. We need to change our symbol or the operation into multiplication and our second fraction would be reciprocal. So we have 12 over 16. Change your division into multiplication times then the reciprocal of your second fraction. That would be 1 over 3. Okay, any common between our numerator and denominator, very good. We have 12 and 3 is has or has a common of 3. So 12 divided by 3, that would be 4. 3 divided by 3, that is 1. So we need to copy all of it. Okay, the remaining 4 over 16 times 1 over 1, so we need to divide it 4 times 1, that would be 4, 
16 times 1, that would be 16. Is this our final answer? Not yet because they have common with each other. That would be divisible by 4. So we can now identify what be the final answer. 4 divided by 4, that would be 1. And 16 divided by 4, that would be 4. So we can say that the length of each piece of, of ribbon is one fourth meter long. So this is how we solve a word problem. So let's try letter B. A bus travels a distance of four and one half kilometers in one seventh of an hour. What speed is the bus traveling? At a bus travels a distance of four and one half kilometers in one seventh of an hour. What speed is the bus traveling at? In letter B, we have the given numbers, which is the distance, which is equal to four and one half kilometers and the time is equal to one seventh of an hour so what are we looking for we are looking for the speed of the bus travel okay have you still remember the speed, time, and distance in your signs? Okay, very good. So, if you still remember, we can recall the formula of our speed. Speed is equal to the distance over the time. Okay? So, we need to divide our distance and our time or by the time. So we need to solve the following, 4 and 1 half divided by 1 seven. So as you can see or observe that our fraction, your first fraction is a mixed number. So we need to convert it into improper fraction. 2 times 4, that is 8, plus 1, that would be 9. Copy your denominator, which is 2. Okay? That divided by one seven. Okay. So we can now do our process of dividing fraction. So copy your first fraction, which is nine over two. Change your division symbol into multiplication symbol, which is times. And the reciprocal of your 1 over 7 would be 7 over 1. Okay, do we have any common between our numerator and denominator? Okay, very good. There is no other common, so we need to multiply directly. 9 times 7, that would be 63. 2 times 1, that would be 2. So, because our answer is in proper fraction, we need to simplify it. 63 divided by 2. How many? Okay. Let's do the long method. 6 divided by 2, that would be 3. 3 times 2, that would be 6. So, we need to subtract this is cancelled because it's zero so we need to bring down three three divided by two that would be one one times two it's two so we need to subtract we got one so always remember that your quotient 
would be your whole number, your remainder would be your numerator, and your divisor would be your denominator. So our answer would be 31 and 1 half. So we can say that the boss traveling speed is at 31 and one half kilometer per hour. Let's have letter C. The area of a rectangle frame is 7 and 4 over 8 me squared meter. The length of the frame is a 5 over 12 meter. What is its width? Again, the area of a rectangular frame is 7 and 4 over 8 square meter. The length of the frame is 5 over 12 meter. What is its width? So as you observe the word problem, we are asking or getting the, the width of our rectangular frame. So first, we need to identify the given numbers in our letter C. So we have the first given number would be the area of a rectangle frame of... 7 and 4 8 squared meter and the length of our frame is equivalent to 5 and over 12 meters so we're looking for our width so if you still remember in your um fifth grade okay in your past school year we used to have the formula of getting the area of a rectangle of length times our width okay so enable for us to find out what would be the length we will um do the formula of transpose our length in our other side of our area of rectangle so how we can do this one and able for us to re to get our formula for our weed we need to divide both sides with our length or L. So L divided by L, that would be 1. So we need to cancel that one. So the formula we can formulate with this one would be the area of our rectangle over length. Okay? Or we have the area of rectangle divided by our length so now that we have the formula of our length we can do a solving to get the, the width of our frame so we have width is equal to the area of rectangle divided by our length okay we have seven and for 8 divided by 12 over 5 over 12 so we need to convert our mixed number into improper fraction 8 times 7 we got 56 plus a 4 we got 60 
copy your denominator, which is 8, then divided by 5 over 12. Now that we have a both fractions, we can now simply change our divide or symbol of division into multiplication and reciprocal our second fraction. So 60 over 8 times 12 over 5. So we need to find a divisible with our numerator and denominator and if enable for us not to have a multiplying directly than getting a bigger number. So what is divisible by 60 and 5? Okay, very good. That would be 5. So 60 divided by 5, we got 12. 5 divided by 5, that would be 1. How about 8 and 12? Okay, very good. Divisible by 4. So 8 divided by 4, that would be 2. 12 divided by 4, it's 3. So we just need to copy them first. Enable for us not to confuse when we are sol solving them. So the remaining would be 12 over 2 times... 30 over 1. So there is no more common or divisible between, with, between them. So we can now multiply directly 12 times 30. That would be 36. 2 times 1, that would be 2. And because our width has a improper fraction we need to simplify it so what would be the half of our 36 very good that would be 18 so we can see that the length or the weed sorry the weed of a frame is 18 meters. How do we solve word problems on dividing fractions? Again, how do we solve word problems on dividing fractions? So always remember first you need to read the problem carefully. Second, look for the keywords such as part into group, etc. that requires or represent division process and its given numbers. The third one, do the process of dividing fractions. And the fifth one is simplify your answer if it is necessary. For example, your answer was improper fraction. You need to simplify it into mixed number so now that you know how to solve um word problems that involving division or dividing fractions i want you to get your workbook in page 23 see to work number four solving word problems again get your workbook answer page 23 see to work number four solving word problems so do not forget to submit your works in our Google Classroom. So that would be all for today. God bless.